Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. In today's video, I'll cover how to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. You'll have to create an invoice on the spot using the new QuickBooks Online layout. Check the invoice in different views before sending it, and then email it directly to your customer. I'll also show you how to create an invoice from an existing estimate, which involves locating the estimate, converting it to an invoice, and sending it to your customer. To start, click the white plus new button at the top left-hand side of your toolbar and then select invoice in the first column under customers. To create a new QuickBooks Online invoice, ensure your QuickBooks is in the newest layout. If not, you should see an update layout option at the top right-hand corner. Click on it and QuickBooks will switch to the new layout. Next, proceed to complete the new invoicing form. In the top half portion, you'll need to provide the following details. Company information. This should automatically populate based on your company setup. As illustrated in my guide on setting up company information in QuickBooks Online. However, you can make changes on the spot by clicking the edit company option. Next, you have the customer section. Select the customer who will receive the invoice. If this is a new customer, click Add New from the Customer drop-down box and provide all of the necessary customer information, as explained in my tutorial on setting up new customers in QuickBooks Online. Once a customer is selected, the fields for email, billing, and shipping address, terms, and location should populate automatically. Next are the term options. This will populate automatically based on the payment terms that you've selected when recording the customer information. However, you may edit this field manually to select the appropriate payment term for, from the drop-down list. You'll have an invoice date. The invoice date should be the date you wish to send the invoice. A due date. Select the due date by when the invoice should be paid. You can add a logo. Click anywhere on the box to upload your logo from your computer. If you haven't already done so as part of setting up your company information. Tags are optional. Tags are fully customizable labels or identifiers that you can assign to transactions and they are useful for organizing data and tracking transactions. Scroll down the invoicing form to find the additional sections. Here's where you can add your product or service. Select the product or service that you provided from your list of products and services. If this is a new product or service, choose Add New and provide all of the necessary information as illustrated in my tutorial on setting up products and services in QuickBooks Online. Once a product or service has been selected, the fields for description, rate, tax, and class should populate automatically. You may also edit these details on the fly if needed. You can also set up customer payment options. This is where you can specify how you want your customer to pay their invoice. Subtotals. The subtotal section shows the amount of all of the items or services provided with before any discounts or taxes are applied. The discount section. This is where you can apply discounts to your invoice total. And sales tax. This field displays the amount of sales tax applied to the invoice. Then finally, the invoice total is at the bottom. Here you'll see the total amount due on the invoice after any discounts and sales taxes are applied. On the bottom left hand side, you can add a note to your customer. You can add a personalized note like a thank you message to your customer. And you can also attach any documentation. 
before you send, you can also see what your invoices will look like in three different views. The email view, the PDF version, along with what the payer will see. Once you're satisfied with your invoice, you can send it right away to your customer by clicking the green review and send button at the bottom of the form. If you wish to send at a later time, you can click save. If you need to print and download the invoice, click print and download. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.